Hey guys, this is Brad from Team App Solution, bringing you another deck profile. Uh, we're going to revisit Kagro now that set 7 has finally dropped, and uh, I want to give you my thoughts on what's what. Alright, uh, welcome back guys. Once again, this is Braxton from Team Absolution doing another deck profile and uh, we're going to revisit Kagura, well, we'll revisit Overlord now that uh, Set 7's dropped. Surprisingly, not a lot's changed all that much, uh, but we'll get right into it. So, starter, I'm still using Draco Kid, not because Undoom's bad or anything, but Undoom's slow. Uh, more so worried about like the mirror or any other retire or interference mechanics that just stop that would stop me from ever using undo also uh, this gives me the chance to not only grab the grave three early if if I need it which is nice it's just it's I can use this faster a lot more utility behind it even though I can with the search but I think the risk is worth so, young Drake, okay, we're going to move it off the side right here. Uh, we're going to, uh, how do I do this? We're going to go into the extra deck right off the bat. All right, so, um, G-Guards, I got, how are we going to do this? Hey, there we go. So I got one Defeat Flare, three Griffins. Can you all see that? Nope. Into the center. So, got one Defeat Fair, Flare, three Griffins. <coughs> Defeat Fair, obviously good for popping the back row and recycling some Overlords. And Griffins to pop annoying rear guards, which are annoying. So, you kill them and don't have to worry about them anymore. Yay! Nice and powerful. So, all of the G guards. Move those out the way. Then, uh, we're going to go with. Uh, one desire. Uh, desire can really good first stride flip up anything for freezies and potentially pop things, which is cool. Uh, from there, I got one sea breeze for sea for sea breeze reasons. Uh, then I got four blade master titan. This card is really strong in the deck. Get some retire going. Get a crit and all for CB1. Uh, generally speaking, if Desire is my first stride, I flip up one of these, but it, it's obviously a game by game basis. Uh, then I got, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just dying over here. Then from there, I got two aces. Uh, Ace, really strong. Three standard. Not really much to say, say about it. And four Nobel. Uh, went for four novel, same. That's all, Larry. Went, went uh, for novel, same reason why as last time. Not saying Ace is a bad card. Ace is amazing, but novel is just easier to set up and execute compared to Ace, which has to have, you know, the two up front CB and the Overlord in hand, which I may not have. So uh, that is that. For the extra deck. Uh, we're going to go to the grade threes. Uh, hmm. So I got three cross. And since I'm running the cross, three dote as well. Uh, I'm running the cross for the same reasons as before. A lot of decks right now can just tag out their front row, <laughs> leaving, you know, my uh, Legends Vanilla. So this just gives me uh, just um, another backup to play around with. And obviously I'm running two Legends because the, well, I need room for these guys and it's really easy to search this guy out. So having them at two isn't really a problem. Uh, so yeah, uh, Legend. And a legion to put stuff back. Pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. So that's that for the great threes. Let's 
go to the twos. <coughs> so I got two Neo Flame to deter possible early game threats. Uh, and in conjunction with that, I got two Berserk Lords for late game because this, this card sticks on the field. It's just disgusting. Um, good card, but because of Titan, I'm trying to wonder if I still want to play him or not. But all in all, I'm liking him still in the build right now. Uh, from there, I got three Burnout. Honestly, uh, Burnout skill hasn't given me much problems in terms of getting uh, Defeat Flare off. And he's just all around still a really good card for what he does. And if I ever need the retire, the option's always there for me. And it's free, which is always nice. And then, last but not least, uh, for Nahalem. Because Nahalem just puts the team on the back. It's free columns for days. And columns win games, so there you go. And uh, that is the great news. <clears throat> and uh, let's go to ones. Uh, I'm running a. I upped Calamity from two to three just to see him more often, especially uh, around the grade two ride, because uh, grade two ride, red pulse Calamity, still really good stuff. And drawing cards is always nice. Uh, and then from there, we got a uh, three Stride Fodder. Yes. Make being able to stride easier is always nice, especially if you're trying to set up an ace turn. And from there, I got four unflip PGs. This unflip is good, and for even more unflip, I got four Conro. The Conro also helps me search out overlords that I need, which is nice, always good. So uh, that's just about it for grade ones. So. <clears throat> and then uh, we'll get to triggers. Uh, trigger lineup's a little different this time around. Little, little different. Not too special. So I got uh, four heals, obviously. Bam! All flame dragon for searchability purposes. Uh, I got two marble draws, and then three gatling claws. Because A, Gatlin Claw is good and Marvel Draw Trigger is always nice. So, five draws all together because Kagero really doesn't gain you know, advantage. We don't search out dudes like Royals and we don't really draw all that hard like OTT or any other. <coughs> sorry. Any other clan. So, retiring is nice, but other than that, we're just by hand drawing in all of our dudes. So, extra draws always good. And then from there, got three regular crits, Flame Dragon crits, and to top it all off, four Blade Master crits. Because whenever I'm on good old Titan, I'm actually able to use this crit for to draw an extra card to dig deeper into the deck and just give him an extra 5k, which isn't necessarily bad. Also, the crit goes into the soul. So cards like, you know, Calamity and my Burnout have another chance. Ooh, let me bring these down. Calamity and Burnout have another chance to go off, which is always nice. So um, <coughs> that's uh, that's uh, really about it. Can't really think of the um matchups that uh. I've had problems with Angel Feather, because Angel Feather is just nuts right now. Uh, Worlds is pretty difficult, but not unbeatable. Shadows is annoying. Uh, I haven't played against Link Joker or Aqua Force or anything like that yet, so I can't tell. I um, haven't played against Grand Blue yet, so I can't tell with that either. But um, all in all, from the things I have played against, this build's pretty solid. Uh, still experimenting with other things. If you have any suggestions or comments or ideas, let me know. Um, I think that's uh, that's about it.
to this profile. Uh, once again, this is uh, Braxton from Team App Solution. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, I'll uh, catch you guys later. Bye bye.